Okay, so here's some more tricks about UV mapping. Uh, number one, I'm going to change my selection mode, so I actually select an entire UV shell just by clicking one time. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my UV shading so you can see my meshes. Now notice that some of these are purple and some of these have this pinkish color. This pink color means that there's UVs overlapping, so there's there's one leg overlapping the other, and you can decide if you like to do that, or you can paint, you can separate them and paint both sides. So I'm going to move these islands, and I'm going to tighten this up. My UV space, and you want to fit these as close together as you can on the grid, and use as much space as possible. which means I might just have to move things around or manipulate or scale or whatever it's going to take to get these to work. Maybe rotate them. So I, I'd like to see this one go a little higher. So I'll select all these islands and move this a little higher. And then I'm going to select all of these islands, rotate them. Now another trick that Maya can do is I can go to polygons, I can go to layout, go to my options, and I have some selections here. I have some options here that I can do with my selection. So I can say scale mode is uniform, or I could say stretch to region, or I can say none could also say rotate freely. I can say um, keep my shells together. I can say uh, prescale is none, object to world, so I can put world space. And I can hit apply. We'll see what happens. And Maya is going to use up my space. Now a few things it's done is, is it's separated out my legs and my arms so now I have to paint them separately and that's going to be a decision you can have to decide if it's going to make if, if you if you can live with that the only other thing I don't like about it is it just put them randomly wherever uh, but it did help to scale so sometimes that's helpful I'm going to go back to my select mode select my island mode and rotate these I can also rotate, use this tool to rotate 90 degrees, or excuse me, 45 degrees. Select this island. Rotate them. If I do want these to snap back over each other, I can go to polygon, so I could say flip. That's interesting. I have a Maya 2012 issue, and I think it won't let me overlap them. I'll have to look into why, but it's kind of nice. It won't let me overlap my islands. I didn't like the way it was flipped, so I'll flip it back. Put this island here. And I, I really prefer to read left to right, top to bottom. So I'm going to put my face up here, my legs down a little lower. My arms over, my ears closer to my face. My nose closer to my face. I would prefer that my face be rotated. And I'd like to have my nose rotated.
And these are all still too big. And there's a lot of unused space that I could tap into. So I'm just going to push them together tighter and tighter. Move these ears in here. Scale these up. And that's a pretty decent fit. I think I can still push these and manipulate them a little further. Don't want this to overlap, so I'm going to have to pull it in. And there it is, my final UV map for my pig.